We wanted a monster that could rival the Lionel from Breath of the Wild in strength for the new sky areas. The director and producer for Tears of the Kingdom, Hidamaru Fujibayashi and Eiji Aonuma respectively, talked about several different monsters and how they implemented them into the game in a recent interview. Fujibayashi says, We prioritized gameplay when creating the monsters, and that they picked creatures to match the sky, caves, underground, and other new areas. They decided to add the Gliok when deciding that they wanted a monster to match the Lionel in terms of strength, but for the new sky areas. So it need wings to fly, be large, and look strong. And we remembered the Gliok. While the Gliok is a returning monster, for the caves the team decided that they needed to create a new monster. We wanted a monster that could latch onto the ceiling, since there wasn't a monster that had that characteristic previously, we created the new monster Horriblins. On the topic of the new boss Bacoblin monster, Onuma says that they're meant for multi-person combat. Having allies lets players charge at them with confidence. Fujibayashi adds on to that, that even enemies adhere to this game's theme of cooperating with allies. 